the Supreme Court in an unprecedented and historic move ousts Chief Justice Maria Lourdes Sereno Friday. Voting 8-6, the SCN Bank grants the co warrant to petition to remove Sereno from office on the basis of an invalid appointment. Sereno attends the NBank session where eight justices voted for the co warrant. The six dissenters are Senior Associate Justice Antonio Carpio and Associate Justices Presbitero Velasco Jr., Mariano del Castillo, Estela Perles Bernabe, Marvic Leonen, and Benjamin Kagiwa. Nine of the justices say she violated requirements on the statement of assets, liabilities, and net worth. Details of the main decision are still being awaited as of posting. The decision is expected from the end bank whose members had made their negative sentiments towards Sereno known. This is the first time the SC removed its own chief in a petition widely slammed for violating Sereno's constitutional right to an impeachment process. Sereno will have a chance to file a motion for reconsideration. During the appeal period, the focus shifts to the House of Representatives, which is yet to vote on Sereno's impeachment. Senate President Coco Pimentel has raised the possibility of questioning the validity of the co to ouster. President Rodrigo Duterte on Wednesday makes a sexist remark against IMF Chief Christine Lagarde after the multilateral lender released its world economic outlook. Duterte says a kiss is all it takes for Lagarde to change her mind about the Philippines. In impromptu remarks before members of the Banco Central ng Pilipinas, Duterte is talking about illegal drugs, then suddenly he mentions pumping money even if there is no value at all. This is when he mentions the name of Lagarde. Duterte says, quote, So just keeps on pumping money even if there is no value at all. You know that Lagarde, I once saw her. Just pull her into a corner, kiss her, son of a bitch, she will change her mind. He adds, quote, She's quite old, but she's good. I met her several times. I'm tempted to ask, what's the standard of your classification? How rich and poor we are, or the enterprises of the world? The IMF recently released its World Economic Outlook, where the IMF's projections for the Philippines were a slightly lower 4.1% this year and 3.7% next year. United States President Donald Trump on Thursday says his historic summit with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un will take place in Singapore on June 12. The talks, which are expected to last one day, are set to focus on North Korea's rapidly advancing nuclear and ballistic weapons programs. Trump makes the announcement after he welcomed to the U.S. three American prisoners released by Pyongyang. The release of the three Americans removes a major obstacle to the summit, providing Trump with some tangible evidence that his twin-track policy of engagement and maximum pressure is working. He tweets, quote, We will both try to make it a very special moment for world peace. Thank you.